What I thought we'd do today is have a look at some of the top event management companies, go to their Facebook pages and then monitor their Facebook pages in a really quick and easy, simple way. So the, the ones that I chose was this is mkg.com and I can see that they've got a Facebook page here and I'm really tempted to do an audit or quick audit and give some tips on what to do and what not to do with their pages but I think that's a video for another day. I also chose Debbie Lilly but I know that this particular event management company does Oprah's events and things like that and there is a perfect event um, Facebook page for Debbie Lilly. So Quintessentially Events is in London, the other two in New York and then I found Quintessentially London here and uh, these three pages I want to monitor. Now I can like the page as a person, I can like as my business page but with competitors and also with social media monitoring dashboards maybe you want to bring the pages out of Facebook and monitor them somewhere else. So that's what we're going to do. What I recommend you use is a tool called Feedly.com and just click get started for free. You can log in with Google or Facebook or an email address, whatever you like. And once you've got that set up, I'll just take you into mine. I create lots of different folders. Um, we don't need to do that right now, but I'll show you how I add the content. So I need to get an RSS link for the Facebook page. So I'm going to go to a perfect event, facebook.com slash a perfect event and then I go to fetchrss.com so what do I have here is a two-step process I take the um, Facebook URL the Facebook address I paste it into fetch RSS they will give me another link and then I'll copy that link and I'll paste it into my Feedly and this will keep me up to date on 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 competitors or industry Facebook pages all in one area of my social media monitoring dashboard. Let's go there. Copy this one. I'm, I'm just, I need to log in. They won't let you do anything without logging in. You will need to give them an email address and a password. So, I've copied the link from Facebook. I'm going to use Fetch RSS and paste the link in there. I've already signed in. You can use a free account or a paid account. And then that's going to give me a second link which I then take to my social media monitoring dashboard. And you can use any social media monitoring dashboard but you need to have an RSS link. So let's paste in the Facebook A Perfect Event and click continue. See this long link here, gobbledygoo? Copy that and then I go to and I'm using Feedly I click add content I paste the long link in ends in XML and it says basically asking me do you want to monitor a perfect event on Facebook and I click follow at this point I can add either a new feed which is what these folders over here are called new feeds or I can add it to an old feed. I'll put it in cat and categorize because I don't usually keep these. And then I'm going to go to this is MKG. Copy their link back to Feedly. You're just going to keep adding content. Oh, sorry. Mu you must do the middleman. So you have to go back to the RSS generator. Paste it in here. Hit return. copy the link back to Feedly paste this in I'm going to do this three times follow add to uncategorized and just so you can see when I go to uncategorized and scroll down 
and I want to see MKG on Facebook and I click Pink Sparrow's site looking so fresh and clean for the new year and when we go to the Facebook page Pink Sparrow's site looking so clean for the new year and then I click on back into Feedly, click here and we can see what it looks like here you can visit the website, see more information and so on and so now I have a perfect event Facebook page MKG and notice that the images are starting to come in now so we're starting to see the full feed coming in and quintessentially on quintessentially London the images haven't come in yet oh now they're coming in good and that way I've got three competitor Facebook pages and they're available to me in Feedly now if you want to use fetch RSS to create the RSS link and then take this link and paste it somewhere else you can you don't have to use Feedly I'm just using Feedly because it's a nice free tool if you have another tool that you prefer there's no reason why you can't take the Facebook link paste it into fetch RSS copy that link and then paste that into your preferred social media monitoring dashboard be careful not every dashboard has the ability to monitor RSS so um, I'm not sure Hootsuite does it I think with buffer app you need content inbox and it's a little bit clunky most of the others it's clunky but I like I do like Feedly when I'm on Feedly I can just click on un uncategorized and it will show me all of the content in uncategorized or I can click on vendors and I can see everything that the vendors are talking about I can change the layout of the screen so as it updates every few minutes I'm getting a different layout that's more suitable to me and the way that I like to consume media I guess you're creating your own event management newspaper so that you can monitor what's going on in your industry I hope you found that useful in the next video I'm going to take you through the nine steps of a social media strategy yes that's the next video and uh, if you haven't seen the first video in this series which is the five tips for Facebook admins that they could be doing to help their conference organizing and social media sales strategies please go and have a look at that video if you have any questions please ask me in the comments don't forget to play the playlist for event managers and if you are interested you can follow me on Twitter, I'm Silk Charm um, and other social media sites.